It's been a while since I took a walk in the woods. I'm looking for something special. Being able to lose myself in places like this made me who I am. As a wildlife biologist, I spent my summers working for South Carolina on sea turtle conservation. And in the winters, I spend months in Africa, living in an equatorial jungle. There, I track and film one of Africa's rarest primates in order to help stop it from going extinct. But you don't have to go across the world to find wildlife in need of protecting. The low country of South Carolina is full of amazing wildlife. Here, we're still fortunate to have miles of undeveloped coastline coastline that many species depend on for their survival. So much amazing wildlife, sometimes you just gotta know where to look. All right, so this is what I was looking for. This is a marbled salamander. When I was a kid, I'd spend hours in the woods of the low country, uh, just traipsing around looking for wildlife. And the marble salamander is always high on my list. And you can see why, it's just an amazing looking animal. And they're really an ancient looking creature, uh, uh, but just look, just so peaceful. The marble salamander is in the mole salamander family. That means it spends most of its life underground or in logs. This animal is just one example of many that are rarely, if ever seen, within our ecosystems. Just because we may not know they exist, doesn't make them any less important. And whether we see them or not, each one plays their role in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. So if you hear the construction equipment going on in the background, uh, that's because this forest that we're in right now is right up against a housing development. And unfortunately, animals like this marble salamander and, uh, and other residents of this forest probably won't have a home in the next coming years. Development. For the forest and the lives within, it means destruction. Rather than redeveloping disturbed areas, many businesses choose to cast the shadow of suburban sprawl on more natural areas. We're used to seeing properties sold, cleared, and turned into brand new housing units. Amphibians and other animals rely on the wetlands to stay wet. But climate change and development like these, however, are rapidly altering the hydrology of these environments. We see these forests being cleared, but have you ever seen one being planted? With unchecked sprawl, the question of habitat loss is a one-sided equation. Adding more people unsustainably means less wild places. We are connected to these living places. It's our home. Even though we don't see many of these wild animals, they feel the full weight of our actions. The Low Country is a beautiful place to live, rich in natural heritage and resources. 
we just need to be sure that we leave some of that behind in the wake of our growth. We need to make sure that we are informed of what is at stake when our environment and our future are in question. Living Low Country is a grassroots conservation awareness project aimed at sharing stories and images from the places that we call home. We hope to engage people with their community and nature. The earth is our greatest gift in life. Unsustainable and unchecked development put our environments and our natural resources at risk. Those same natural resources that define our way of life. And the ones that our economy is built on. Whether you are a low country native or transplant, it's our duty to protect this amazing gift and to share it with others. Just like the marbled salamander, there are countless other animals that have called the low country home for thousands of years. These animals lack the voice to defend their natural existence from our unnatural destruction. Habitat loss, water quality, climate change, understand the issues. Get to know the wildlife, and please explore our living low country.